Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Jess Joyce from FoodPay. Jess, thank you so much for being here today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about FoodPay? Yeah, sure. So we call FoodPay a lifestyle management platform. And really what that means is we're here to help our members with managing their cash flow and all of the other competing priorities around their lifestyle. Um, so we do that in two ways at FooPay, the first of which is our money management tooling, which uniquely we look forward across future pay cycles. So we help our members to understand their income, their bills, their spending, but most importantly, how much money is likely to be left over at the end of a future pay cycle. And in those events where they need that little bit of payment flexibility to be able to just smooth the costs of getting from A to B, we step in to do that. So we provide small amounts of cash funding, we pay bills on our members' behalves, and we also have a virtual card that our members can access to tap and pay anywhere. They then pay us back over an eight-week period with their repayments completely personalised around that cash flow. Wow, that's such an interesting idea and you've touched on it already, but what makes FoodPay different from the other budgeting and banking apps? Because there are so many on the market that you guys <laughs> are unique. <laughs> Yeah, so I think what's really interesting about Foo in the kind of budgeting space is we don't look backwards. So we do have all of that functionality, but we're less focused on what you spend and what you earn because we feel that that really doesn't help you to make financial decisions. And in that kind of payment flexibility and buy now, pay later space, we're not just focused on a specific market segment like, se like retail, for example. So for us, we're a cash flow management tool. And that's all about helping our members to make their own decisions about how they manage and how they spend and providing immediately actionable insights ahead of time. And where we see we help our members the most is helping them to understand, oh, I've got a bill up and coming. How do I pay that? We step in to facilitate those real life events of those really difficult moments, um, which is completely unique in terms of the market offering. Well, that's so awesome. And it really does sound like something that anyone could benefit from, no matter how much you earn, right? Yeah. And just people often find it really difficult to track their spending. So how does FooPay make this process easier? Yeah, look, I think the great thing about FooPay is the machine learning insights that really power the, the cash flow forecast. So tracking spending is something that a lot of people find really hard to do currently, and they typically think about it before it's too late. Um, so with the FooPay app, you basically jump in, we analyze your bank account data. It's immediately that you will see your current pay cycle, your future pay cycles. And if you're going to be short or you're struggling with your, your current pay cycle, we step in to help you to solve those problems in real time. So it's it's not just about being able to stay on track of where you are today. It's making those decisions before it's too late. I love that. And it seems really simple for customers to use and manage their money, which is great. So how does FooPay use cloud technology? Like where does AWS fit in here? Yeah, so AWS has been a really integral part of our journey over the last three years. Um, I think anybody that talks to me <laughs> hears me bang out about how great it's been for the, for the company and I guess for our team. So that cash flow forecasting piece that I mentioned before, that's heavily driven by products like SageMaker combined mm -hmm. with machine learning techniques like clustering. Security has been a really key focus for us given the sensitivity of the data that we deal mm -hmm. with. The great thing about a platform like AWS is there's so much security and best practice baked into the platform. So we're utilizing AWS Gateway, we've got Cognito for authentication and access, and it's really easy to be able to access non-AWS products through the platform as well so that you can configure them as mm -hmm. and when you need it. Um, another really great thing for an early stage business is cost and time efficiency. So one of the really key things that we wanted to architect for, for the business when we started was that um, we needed to be able to scale really quickly, but not necessarily need all of that infrastructure and rigor when we started. So we've utilized best practice like auto scaling groups. We've got lambdas, we've got reserved instances and all of that efficiency in terms of the AWS platforms means that when you need to scale, your platform can respond to it instantly, but you're not paying for massive amounts of overhead in terms of your infrastructure and data costs when you don't necessarily need it in the early days. Oh, Jess, thank you so much. That sums up really nicely. And I, we're so glad that you're happy. So finally, what is next for FooPay? Are there any exciting initiatives that you guys have coming up or that you want to tell us about what's next? What can we expect to see? So data and personalization, I feel like everybody's kind of <laughs> talking about that at the moment, but 
for us, we're really hammering our next to our next big product feature, which is a feature which we're calling Marketplace, which mm -hmm. brings together that money management and spending decisioning to functionality all in one place. So mm -hmm. next year, we'll come to market with our Marketplace product, which enables our members to not only come into the product and make a de spending decision to spend their own money and be rewarded for that, they can buy now, pay later all or part of a purchase. They can receive personalized spending and savings recommendations, mm -hmm. which are completely driven by that cash flow management tool. So we're adopting new techniques like deep learning. We're also really in the thick of the AWS personalized service to facilitate that. So yeah, watch this space. Jess, I've loved having you on the show and your energy is so infectious. So thank you so much. We really enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. No worries. Thanks. Bye.